Hello, uh, I am Alex. I'm from the computer room. I am one of the IT guys, and I will be talking you through a small induction to our facilities and what we offer at our computer lab. So, we are open every day of the week from 9 a.m. till 10 p.m. on Monday to Friday. On the weekends, we have a student assistant covering all day from 10 to 10. Uh, in the lab, we have 66 PCs. These all have uh, Photoshop, the whole master suite of Adobe, Autodesk, Rhino, a whole bunch of software. And we have 12 Macs as well, all running uh, Mavericks. If you guys want to use scanning or photocopying, that sort of thing, we have another lab just in directly opposite us, which has a whole bunch of scanners. We have A3, A2, and A4 scanners for you to use. Um, we have four color printers uh, for inkjet, and we have one laser, which does A4 to A3. We have one A4 black and white printer as well, and if you want to do any hub plotter kind of A0 sizing, we can do that as well. If you have any requirements to do custom size printing, let's say you want to print out something larger than A0, um, we have someone in the materials shop who can help you with that with custom printing. So there's a brief overview of our charges. So if you wanted to pay for plotting, it would be 12 quid for an A0, and it's a lot cheaper to print A4 black and white. Um, there's a list of all the software that we offer. So if you came to the lab, you'd be able to use all of that. And if you need any assistance, you could ask our student assistant or one of us if you have any problems. Uh, file storage. Each of you should have access to a five gigabyte um, storage space when you log in, which should be accessible by going to the computer, and it should just pop up there. If you need more than five gigs, you can speak to one of us, and we will try and increase it if possible and if within reason. Uh, all of you should also be set up with a AA school email address, which you should have received in your welcome pack, I think. Um, as well as if you need any access to your files while you're off-site, we can help you set up a virtual private network access on your laptops, which means that you can access your files from anywhere, as long as you have an internet connection. Uh, as displayed on your welcome pack, hopefully, you should see that you have a username and password. Your username should normally be your first name dot surname, and your password will be a bunch of random characters at the moment. If you come to the lab sometime today or this week, you can log in with your temporary password, and after logging in, it should ask you to reset that. So you'd have to change it to something with eight characters long, have a capital letter and a number, and it can't be your name. Uh, for wireless access, you should be able to set it up. We can provide you with a help document if you come see one of us at the lab or if you uh, email us and we can send you one by email as well. We support uh, Wi-Fi for Windows 7, XP and Windows 8. Um, Mind you, all of you that use our Wi-Fi, it is advised you use antivirus so that you're not spreading anything across the network. Acceptable use. This is just covering things like uh, don't download anything that's related to piracy, any illegal software like cracks, or try and destroy our network by any means. Uh, computer room staff. There's three of us that work for the computer room. There's myself, Toby, and Wesley. Toby is more of the person that you'd speak to if you have any interest in using Mac software. So any of you that have a Mac, I would recommend you speak to him as he's a lot more knowledgeable than uh, Wesley and I. Uh, me and Wesley, we specialize in using all the Windows software and setting up the licensing servers and things like that. So if you have problems with that, you can speak to us. Uh, computer room rules. So these are just standard things such as uh, no bottled, no drinks except bottled drinks. You could bring any kind of like squash or whatever as long as it's in a bottle with a cap and that's fine to uh, bring into the room. Uh, just no eating and have all your phones set to either vibrate or silent. 
just so that it's not disturbing any other students if that are working in the room. Uh, phone calls are also meant to be taken outside, and you shouldn't be sharing your account with anyone else for any reason, as that is a major security threat. Um, simple things like don't unplug cables from the back of machines and don't leave litter. And that's about it. Are there any questions? Nope? Cool. Uh, Joel, do you want to have a few words? Oh, do you? What's up? Uh, no, we don't supply software, but if you do email us, we can uh, provide you with a possible discount depending on what software it is. I know that with Autodesk, since you have student emails, you should be able to sign up for um, two years free software on their website. We can provide you with the link if you need it, but that's the only software that I know you can get for free, which is the Autodesk suite. Uh, if you want a particular software class, you'd need to speak to our student assistant who'd be able to assist you. Hi everyone. My name's Joel Newman. I'm head of um, audio visual within the school and I'm a media studies tutor. Um, quick point about that. Media studies, if you look at the media studies prospectus or the element within, you'll find that there are courses given on particular softwares. Um, some of those take place on a Saturday outside of normal working hours, so do keep an eye out for those. It's a great ask very often um, on you to actually get to grips with soft software, and it seems very unapparent within the school where that teaching comes from, but there is quite a lot of provision for that within media studies. And within your units, once you're there, it's actually, the, I think, the responsibility of your unit masters or teachers to find tuition if you're being asked to do that within that specific um, um, piece of teaching, for instance. So I'm just going to explain um, briefly. Um, it's not apparent very often where audiovisual lies in relation to IT. Um, audiovisual is a kind of very old, uh, musty thing within the school almost, because the, the school was a, one of the first schools to adopt video as a medium for kind of, you might know, say, architectural representation. So um, apart from dealing a lot with video, which I'll come to, um, the audiovisual department ensures that um, you have equipment that you can borrow which is something that IT um, is not there for, if you like. So if you require video cameras, you come to me. If you want a stills camera, DSLR, go to the dark room and see Sue. Okay? But tripods, audio recorders, PA equipment, um, distributed stuff, lots of stuff, GoPro cameras. There is a web page for audiovisual, um, and I give a very loose listing of the kind of equipment that we have. And um, obviously, you can come between sort of 10 and 5 to borrow that for the sort of hours of lunch in between. There's three of us in the department myself, uh, Tim, who's uh, behind the camera there, also Ben, who's here on a Thursday and a Friday. All right? We have to be quite strict about um, lending equipment, as we do in all the areas that lend equipment. The workshop will lend you a drill, for instance. Um, Tris will be able to lend you other kinds of drill, let's say, down in the model shop. Sue will be able to lend you photographic gear and so on. And just like the library, you must bring your stuff back. We don't charge generally. You'd find that each department has a different way of billing you or fining you if you don't bring the uh, equipment back. But please do. Always remember that someone else is desperate to use the equipment that you borrow. And I really urge you to stick to the terms and conditions that you need to sign up to in borrowing that equipment. It makes life very difficult for us to keep ringing you, finding where you are, and bringing this equipment back. So please be wary of that. Okay? So we lend you equipment. We provide equipment boringly in teaching spaces, and you'll find it in many of the bookable spaces around the school, there is equipment there. So once you're sort of in a pattern of working, you'll realize that you know, very often you don't need to come to us to borrow a data projector to project a presentation that you've made. You'll find that there is a large LCD screen or projector in that space. If you're stuck with how to use it, come and find us. All right. It's all quite straightforward. You'll very often find that, or I find that you're more au fait with the technology than your tutors. So tutors are um, uh, in, in light of that too, um, we are also tasked with um, recording and stage managing the public uh, event series and the public lectures and many of the other events that lie outside of that. So um, you will find that very often that we are in 
involved with the video and documenting of events around the space, uh, and also streaming stuff, of which there is tons and tons of, of material to find online. The school started videoing stuff, if you like, in about 1968. You will find examples of lectures, probably from about 1972, within the um, video library, which is part of the slide library at the moment, and online. There is no, um, there's a program of moving material that exists on DVD and on servers and so on into more readable formats online at the moment, but there is nothing really online pre-2008. So if you want to go and see Rem or Zaha or Peter Cook or Archie Graham or any of these people um, that have given lectures in the sort of 70s, um, go and seek um, Valerie Dennett in the slide library and buy them and they will be able to um, help you find the DVDs of this material. It's very uh, useful. It's a massive and important archive that we have. Um, so that's that element. And the other bit uh, I just wanted to say is that many of you, because of this use of video that the school has found itself using over the years, you will want to do video of some description. And it can be simple stuff. I just want to document a model being made. I'm working in a workshop. I want to do a time lapse. I don't want to do something in slow motion. I want to do something. And all of a sudden, it's, it's simple, kind of gets a little bit more complicated. If you require tuition on a set time, and I prefer to teach in groups, come and find me and we can organize something. Outside of that, please come and find me to have a chat. Very often, what seems to be very complicated is not at all. So I can provide you with a space to work in. Over in number 39, we have a greenish room to do chroma key work. Uh, we have lights, we have jib arms, we have a tracking system and so on. A lot of this equipment that you can take away on unit trips if need be, but you have to arrange that with fire to make sure that insurance and things are going to be okay. So we have lots of interesting things that's not apparent at this year's lecture. All right. um, and I think that's it. Good luck. I think you're going to have health and safety. Right? Off you go. Anything? Questions? Confused yet? Soon be over. Good. Right. Good luck.